Warning! Do not attempt any of the acts you're about to witness. Everything you're about to see was done on a, a closed course by trained professionals with all the insurance and red tape a guy in a suit could make up. Viewer discretion is advised, and don't try this at home. And if you do try it at home, send me a vidya. All right, before we get this road on the show, you can enjoy this vidya as she is right now, or you can come on over to the old Patreon. You can uh, expect no tampon commercials, no censorship, all the grease, extra red line, and all the chainsaws, because uh, old lube tube says that I can't uh, hit my wooden leg with a chainsaw anymore. <sighs> but with the help of my loyal Patreons, I've, uh, I no longer have to bend to the will of lube tube on there. So that's minty as you know what. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep this, uh, we're just going to keep on giving her. You know how hard it is not to swear? It's like going to a parent-teacher meeting, but at least I can drop a few in there and just get yelled at. But anyhow, head over to the Patreon. Enjoy all the greasy stuff. Don't forget to head over to the Boss Garage's website and vote for the uh, the old F1 there. I'm entered in two categories. First one I'm entered in is the Neutral Drop Burnout category. The second one I'm entered in is Junkyard Digs Revive and Drive. Um, the Boss did this uh, car show last year and they raised a whole bunch of money for charity. I'm pretty sure it was Doctors Without Borders. A uh, bunch of good people out there. And this year they're doing it for all hands on hearts. I don't even know what that is, but I'm going to look into it. They got a bunch of merch up for sale again, so I guess you guys can go over there, and if you want to buy some of that, you can go right ahead. But the old F1 gave us a lot of enjoyment over the last seven years, so I figured I figured it right to do a uh, a little tribute video just for the Patreons over there. And you get to find out if she started again. So, uh, yeah, the old F1, it was actually a bit of a tearjerker going back through all the memories of that truck and uh, seeing uh, how she started off and how she ended up. Well, without any more dinking around, here is the life and death of the F1. Well there, ladies and gents, I got some good news again, and I got some more bad news. Good news is, my pecker's not the size of a WD-40 straw anymore. Needle, needle. Cause she's just tropical out here. Dump kitties are all thawed out. Dump dogs all thawed out. But the bad news is it definitely snowed another six inches. That's six inches, right? But yeah, it's definitely snowed another six inches. And uh, anyway, she goes. Still drying out the old shop here to try to get the concrete laid down. But. Good news is, and more good news, we're having a talking about. His old fucking D Boss garage is doing another god car show. My fat fucking ass doesn't have time to fucking judge a category. But when I heard that old fucking news will drop, we're judging the uh, category. Well, I can grow another god leg before I don't enter in that fucking thing. So I figured with this video, it's gonna be a conglomerate of my videos and stuntman's videos. Or cameraman, stuntman, neutral drop, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's going to be a fucking conglomeration between their videos and mine. It'll be an old start revival. Plus, it'll be all the fucking no mercy reverses, neutral drops, and fucking burnouts a guy can fucking handle. This is going to be fucking mint. Isn't that right, Willard? Willard, wow. Also, believe it or not, I vowed to not do any more fucking PC light drinking up until I get a video loaded up. I feel real fucking bad for the god Patreons, and uh, well, I'm a piece of fucking derelict sh who's not uploading enough fucking videos, and that ain't fucking right. So I'm fucking on the piss jugs until uh, further notice. No more drinking until I get a fucking video uploaded, and then I'm gonna really fucking get drunk. Liquor's calling the shots. So as you can see, my yard is just fucking beautiful. Not even muddy or snowy or nothing. And uh, well, I'm gonna tear my fucking fat ass back here and. Pick the lucky fucking winner that's gonna be uh, entered into the neutral drop category. I got like two days left, so ain't no minute like the last minute. Like old fucking uh, too cheap to smoke says. Oh man, I took a real nice fucking dodge in that house this morning. Slid out real nice. 
had an old traffic jam there for a while. Fucking Dodge is backed up all the way to my fucking tonsils. But, fucking God, fucking dog, I almost took my fat ass out. So, I was thinking, as far as trucks go, what better truck to fucking use for the neutral drop challenge than the truck that has taken some fucking savage revving dumps? And that's the F1 sh She hasn't ran in for fucking ever. And while it's the only truck out here, believe it or not, that's seen harder life than fucking Slave Lake. I shit you not, this truck has been absolutely fucking beat on. There's no structure left at a cab. Check this out. It's bad. It's really fucking bad. But with all of our backs and a little of our brains, we're gonna get this to give her. Oh, I'm fucking falling over. We're gonna get her to go, and she's gonna be fucking mint. I got pissed up with big and fucking rallied the rad support right into the rad and or the fan and a bunch of other. Shit. But oh, in Manitoba slams, robbed all the parts off the engine. Oh, well, I gotta get a clearance stick, but robbed all the parts off the mill and we got to do that still so let's get the to her all right let's open up the old ranch oh. so believe it or not but the uh, hood staying up or things are a little fucked. the tfi self tappered everything is completely on this old bird and i have no idea how it even tries to run still but we're gonna make her go obviously manitoba slams robbed a bunch of important up here and uh, we're gonna have to replace that the f oh the fans not even partying with the rad I thought it were this ain't gonna be a fucking struggle to fire I reckon because uh well she fucking died on the way in here because I bagged the fucking shit out of it and the wiring harness there was partying with the front tire and the ratchet strap gave up and wow well, you know how it goes but yeah we're gonna fucking just dial this back together and dial all that back together and put a battery in it and see if she fucking goes this truck right here, she's fucking mint. Now, a feller needs a loyal steed to ride around instead of fucking having a heart attack. What for fucking being a giant fat crippled fuck hobbling around here? This is pretty much my fucking rascal. And this is my rascal scooter. This rascal changed my life. You know, because it, it would make a lot more sense to go ride my granddad's old Honda that's in the shop that's nice and warm and dry and not fucked. But where the fuck's the fun in that? We're gonna get on old Rhonda here. We're gonna give her. Look at this fucking Japanese fucking engineering. Like. Onnichiwa! Hey, Mr. Takayama, did you know that China and Japan are actually a different countries? Oh, really? They got that little riggings for fucking stuff on the things. Fuck is that ever meant? But old Rhonda hasn't run in for fucking ever, so we just gotta put the battery in it and see if she'll fucking dial. All right, the fucking battery's in. That was not good Japanese engineering. That would, I think the guy that was fucking engineering that was out on lunch and he was fucking huffing glue in the parking lot. You gotta have itty bitty little fucking Asian fingers to get in there and fiddle fuck with that thing. Junk. Let's just see. Ugh, the old Letterman. Letterman fucking wave. Get one or get fucked. Let's see if the old fucking Ronda fires here. Oh. Oh, she cranks. She gonna fire? You want some Cosby sauce? Usually when you say that, they get pissy pants and fire. You want some of the good stuff? No, wait a minute! Oh, is it on run? Oh yeah, she's on run. Oh, I need to put choke on maybe. Choke was on. Oh, that's a good sound. She needs some Cosby sauce. All right, well, obviously, I already put a little can hole there. Watch for uh, Cosby sauce injection. I did a wow! So we're just gonna give her all this and uh, not worry about that and this, that, and this, that. The, the new can's really spray nice, eh? Oh, yeah. All right. We'll see what happens now. Just, it's just gonna fire right up. You ready for this? Okay, maybe it doesn't like red line right off the fucking hop. Sometimes that happens. But just need more well, she's been running for like five seconds, so she's good to go, but 
I gotta put some wind in that tire and uh, then we can give her all the way. As far as gas goes, well, we're just gonna go until we run out. Oh, man. Just, uh, oh, f babe, you left the goddamn water pump in here. She's gonna be. F oh, well, you guys are in for a fing treat. Old screw cab schlong box is still giving her, and uh, for all you to think, well, you can't spray ether into an engine, or else it f it. Well, you got it real wrong because uh, the old lady's gotta go for water, and well, this is how we've been starting this thing all winter. All of it. All the things, all the throttle, all the red line. Fucking mint. All right, screw cap schlong box fired up. We got the fucking service trickle dialed in. Basically a service truck meow. Look at that. Now that's a real bad idea already. What for, uh, these are gravity held down and well, first few bumps and there's gonna be sockets everywhere. So, but we're willing to take that chance. We got this mint chunk of seat let's go get some junk running all right so feather's gonna uh borrow all this shit off of here so uh here's a good recommendation for you guys buying old ferds when the guy says it ran when it parked but all the spark plugs are missing and the whole engine's covered in dirty water chances are the fucking retard hydro locked it and he's lying to you but yeah we're gonna yank all this shit off and stick it on the other truck and shit should be mint. But that life lesson of uh, buying this thing, even though I knew the engine was uh, hydro locked, wasn't that bad of a deal still. I, got, I got it for like 200 bucks or something like that. But uh, you know, it, you, you gotta have 35 parts trucks. You, you never know when you might need one, right? All right, so we're back here. We got a battery in there. So I know what you're thinking. Peg, why in the sweet f didn't you try the battery first to see if it cranks, to see if she'll and start before doing all this fiddle -fuckery. well i got that much faith in the old ferd that uh she's gonna fire right up all right you are right about the fucking seeing if it'll crank because who knows how much water's been getting into places and stuff so let's stick that in here like so and hope the old dump them will hold the charge what the fuck is this fucking plastic thing anyway we're not worried about arc and shit out if we are worrying about arc and shit out, this is the least of our fucking problems. Let's fucking let them in the fuck out of that. Pound this onto here. Oh, I think there's a key on. All right, the fuel pump, I'm pretty sure there's a fuse box. Oh yeah, that's where you're gonna want the fuse box. But I'm pretty sure <laughs> that there's a wire coming from somewhere that goes to something that does fuel pump stuff. What for me doing a delete on the whole fuse panel? I think it's the one that's got, yeah, it's the one that's got the jumper wire on it here. So we're just gonna move shit out of the way. See how nice and, oh, getting fuel. Oh, it even sounds like it's gurgling stuff in there. All right, let's see what the rail does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Stinks! Oh! Well, at least I know she's getting fuel pressure. Now all we need to add to the old fucking defibrillator there is a little bit of power and she should go. Let's see if she'll crank. So I am soaked in gas now, so if there's any sparks happen... Well, that's not... Oh, it's cranking! I was more worried about me. I wonder if there's any... How's this stuff going? What is that? All right, so when I parked her here, let's see if the distributor's going round and round. It's only half clipped down. Oh yeah, the distributor's going round and round. Now you gotta remember here, that if uh, it did fire up, she's WFO. Oh, I gotta see if the key's on. Let's go see what the key. I think the key was on, because things were sparking and sh Let's see here. Oh, I think we got the 
fucking shifter in this thing was just First stop, drive doesn't work, but third does. Neutral is park, reverse is second. If you want to use reverse, put it in drive. You got it? Yeah, I got it. And the accelerator sticks too, so be careful. But don't be afraid of it. You got to give it to her, it's going to stall. Well, there's something going on with the dash. So things might be working. Let's see. Let's see what happened with the fuel pump switch. Yeah, oh, fuck yeah. Just struggling out here. Now let's see if we got any fucking shit going to the defibrillator. Oh, we're gonna use this old bolt here. Now my hands are good and wet. So what that's gonna mean is that you don't even need to have a heart beating all the time. Like, fuck. All right, we're gonna stick that in there like so. And hold her just out of the way. All right. Oh, safety. See all that glistening? That's water. And water makes things go fucking heart stoppy. No big deal. All right. We got no fucking spark. That's no big deal. We can figure that out. Man, old Manitoba Slims opted for the old fucking just rip on her technique for getting stuff out of here. She just snapped everything off. Everything's just fucked. How dare him. The F1 shitty is an elite piece of equipment. Some people's fucking kids. I think that's airline. All right, don't take me ripping on Manitoba Slims is a bad thing, all right? He's a good man. I probably told that fucking guy to come back here and pull parts off the old F1 shitty. But, uh, well, she's definitely fucking parted out. But we're getting to fixing it, I'm telling you. Everything's gonna be fucking mint. You see that paper thin gasket that's falling apart in there? Ask me if I give a all right, that's fucking mint. We're, we're gonna tighten up the bottom one. Now, if I can hobble on one or the two legs, this thing can fucking dial with three out of four bolts. You don't need to fucking put all the bolts in. So you just tighten this one extra good, and then you don't have to worry about the other side. Alrighty, now a little icing on the cake here. We'll just pop that back on. Oh yeah. And the worst thing about this whole rigging is, I don't really know what else he pulled off, but uh, you know. We're gonna find out the hard way. Oh, all right, well, that's all good to go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Minty as fuck. When I parked this fucking thing, well, when I pushed it back into the pile here, it uh, it died because we bagged it off the car trailer or thing. I don't know what the fuck happened to it, but it it fucking just died. I wonder why. But I didn't. I never figured out why it died. So. We gotta go ahead and check all the fuses again. 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt. Well, that one's got nothing rolling through it. Is it burnt up? Ugh. It feels pretty uh, roached out. Mm. Oh, yeah, that one's really fing burnt. That's probably our problem right there. So now, since we don't want to have that thing pop again, what we went and grabbed... Oh. Oh, where the f*** did it go? Oh, I got pockets full of f***ing sh**. All the sh**. Where the f*** did it go? Alright, there it is. So since we don't want it to go again, what we'll do is we'll just jam a 50 amper in there to prevent sh** from f***ing up. Now let's see what happens. Usually what I do to check for spark and fuel is just uh, spray Cosby sauce in it and see if it can fire. So I'm gonna wanna use this proper jumper wire here. Fuel pump's giving her. Let's see what happens. Now, important, you gotta be right here so you can give it red line right away. You don't want that top end running without oil. Oh! -ho. Now, if there's one thing I've learned with these old trucks, is that the old gas in it really likes a little hit of the good stuff. Oh man, it's excited. I love this old bird. Got the dog all amped up. All right, you're gonna want to give her a snort. A good hearty one. All right. Pop 
bad. Not bad. All right, that gas might be a little old. So what we're gonna wanna do is just fire it up. So here, I'll show you step by step here. You're gonna wanna be careful with this. So a little snort, a little step by step. You're gonna fire it up. I'd have to put gas in it. Flip, flip. Come on. Is there fuel pressure? Not a whole lot. See, we might have run her out of gas, which is probably not a bad thing. What for uh, the gas being older than the nails that held old Chris to the wood. No. Let's see here. Oh, check engine lights on. We can't run her. So we're gonna wanna add some fuel to her. And I don't know where the fucking thing is, but it's all bent off and fucking So we're gonna have to go get some fucking 1203 and stick it in her. The fuel gauge does read fuck all, and it's on the front tank. So let's see if we can't. Oh, look at this one had the nice rear opening door. Now, is there a Oh yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's just bent and mangled for f creek. <sighs> All right, I went ahead and grabbed the f smallest jerry can a guy could find. Cause f that, I'm putting good gas in this thing. Oh, the, the gas. This thing's been shot at a couple times, you know? Sometimes that happens out here. Even though guns are bad, okay? I, guns kill people, remember? Justin Trudeau said so. Don't get me into politics now, you know, flustered. So she's gonna be frozen to the ground, eh? So if there's one thing I've learned in all my years of shit up is that ice really doesn't like to let shit go. It's kind of like the old lady when you, you know, pissed all over the floor 10 or 1500 times. And, well, she doesn't let that go. Cause, uh, well, they get mad about that. So we're gonna have to get this thing out of here. And that old picker truck that I bought, you know, another project. Well, she's all caked in fuckery, so that ain't gonna come out. So, it's gonna be quite the fuckery to get this piece of shit out of here. Is it gonna take gas? Oh, yeah. Is it going onto the ground? No, it's going in the tank. What a fucking sweetheart. She wants to live. I'm gonna give her some air here. We're getting some fucking glugging. And whoever it was, the guy that designed the jerry can without the vent up here. I hope he dies a slow, horrible fucking death. What a fucking You know how many fucking uh, quarter inch shelf tappers I had to invest in my jerry cans to get the fucking things to vent properly? They brought him back, thank fuck. But I think you Americans guys have way better fucking sherry cans. You gotta be inclusive nowadays. But sherry cans that we got, they're like sassy as fuck. We got nothing but the sh down here. Or up here. Yeah, it's up here. I can hear the fuel pump doing things in there, so it's trying. So we're just gonna wanna bend this back up the way it was. Oh, that's bad. Oh, it's, oh for sakes, we're leaving. Let's see if she'll go. I don't know if you heard that or not. I think I hit the button. But I heard the the fuel pump is sounding pretty good. Now let's just fire it up and see how it goes. Oh. Oh. Look at that thing loyal. Yeah. All right. All right, hold on here.
is. Biggest fucking reason. Would anybody ever, ever talk an old bird truck? Feast your eyes on this piece of shit. too happy about that it sometimes gets flooded what for all the fucking exhaust is all cut off of it right in front of the o2 sensors so she gets a little flooded yeah She dies day. She loads up pretty easy, but for all the exhaust is ripped off. So let's just throw on some of this cardboard here and jump in and just see if it'll go into gear. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, it's like stuck to the fucking ground. Let's see here. Is that neutral? I mean, you gotta give her a little bit of a pass. She's had a hard life. Actually, this thing's designed a neutral drop. I forgot. You can't just fucking. She's a bit frozen to the ground. You can't even rev and dump her free. So, uh, well, we gotta get her out of here. All right, she is froze into the free here. Look at this. Uh. Like she's, it's not just snow we're worrying about here. It's the ice that's right there that's us. So it looks like we're gonna need some dick. Hey, what do you think, Willard? I'm gonna go fire up dirty old dick. I think, cause uh, she's jammed in here. And it is going to be a nightmare. Oh, you know what, Willard? We need a nipple truck. You want a nipple truck? Let's go get a nipple truck. Now, I could go ahead and do the smart thing and use one of my backhoes that have all the capabilities to get that old thing out of there. But I've never been accused of being a smart guy. So what we're going to do is use the nipple truck. Let's go get her. She'll fire. 
All right, the last time I had the old nipple truck running, it was just smoking the fuck out of the old lady's camper, or our camper, wherever the fuck it is. But uh, she'll fire again, and she'll be fucking loyal. She hasn't moved all. Fuck. Oh no, I did drag a beam home with it. The Patreons were able to see that video. But uh, she has moved. Let's see if she'll fucking start again. Now the batteries in this thing are just fucking struggling. But I think she'll fucking fire. Because it's loyalist. Oh. 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 Because this thing loyal. Oh, now let's fucking move it out of the hole it's in before I end up getting a divorce, eh? Let's see if the old fucking furred fast idle still works. Oh. Because this thing loyal. Roll the window up, we'll even turn the heat on. I don't know if there's any fuel in it. I just were to find that out the hard way. What's in the back tank? Oh, even f***ing. You know, you're going to want your fuel gauge not to read a f***ing thing. And we'll give her all the way. Alright, well now Feather's got to f***ing really struggle and throw those chains on there. I'll bet you 20 bucks I just f***ed up about 10 truck drivers hold at the threat of having to chain up. I'm going to put them on there and, uh, we're going to give her. Oh, this thing's loyal. Alright, well you know shit's getting f***ing real. When a feller breaks out the chains and the f***ing plywood driveway. F***ing <laughs> A. Alright, well she's going to take a little bit of doings to get in here. What for the f***ing uh, plow truck guy around here was plowing mud instead of snow. And she is getting f***ing soft. Oh, that wasn't so f***ing bad. Billy really Bigger in your back here. We're flexing her out a little bit on this fucking stump. Like all those six dopey dopes out at the mall. Oh, I just put eight fucking shit. But it looks like this old bird is right in the fucking way. So I don't know. Well, the feather's got to at least try to use the stump as a fucking, what should we call it? See if we can do the old lift and pull on the F1. Shit. I got my doubts, but we're going to try it anyway. So I've clearly given this zero thought. And remember that uh, sway bar that ripped off a long time ago? Well, we just hooked to that again. Because we're going to do one of two things. Either one, we're going to finish on installing it. Or two, it's going to rip the truck out. So she's definitely froze in there. And the truck's at the worst angle ever. That one being, she's a little bit to that side. But we're just going to give her and see what the f happens. Body's ripping off. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's gonna come. It's just all right. It might be flipping this truck. Oh, is it wheeling? Wheelie time! Oh yeah. Let's wheelie the out of this thing. Ah. Uh, when should I start worrying here? Well, that's not working. So what we're gonna do is just try to do that stump delete over there. And no, not like the doctors did on me. But uh, let's do a little, a little more undoing here. All right, let's see what happens, meow. Oh, and just in case you guys are wondering about buying a Princess Auto Keeper winch, I'd highly recommend it. I let the smoke out of that one twice, and it's still running all right oh yeah she's coming I'm gonna back up a bit here oh it's fucking shit up oh yeah gentle she's coming out that wasn't even a fucking stump the dirty old log if 
you don't think I'm riding out, you got something different to think. Come on. Oh yeah. All the safety. Oh yeah. It's like the log is my Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I trust all the welds I did on there. Oh. <laughs> this isn't sketchy at all. It's like the world's fucking most amputator fucking uh, teeter totter. Look at this. Shit. He came in like a like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. This isn't dangerous, is it? All right, now I just gotta see how high we can go. Oh yeah. Hey, remember those welds I did a long time ago that are all rusty? Yeah, I remember those. <laughs> this is fucking mint. This is safe. Look at that safe. This is safe as All right, no more playing. We gotta get that truck out. Push that over there. Give her a little bit of down here. I know not the squinty-eyed Greta kind. Oh. All right, some people might call that body damage, but I just call it cuddling. But we're in here far enough, and uh, we start yanking on this. Hooked down to the safest spot again, I'll winch the out of it. Oh, I hear crunching over there. That's just going to Oh, yeah, they're going. See, I told you we'd get the rest of that sway bar. Mint. Huh. All right, let's try it again. Now I'm gonna think that the suspension is gonna get right pissy pants before the truck comes out of there. Oh no, let's see what happens. Oh, maybe things are still getting pissy. Oh yeah! All right, now the back. We're just gonna lift until things happen. Oh, there goes that side. Man, this is just too easy. She might even drive out of here with a little bit of wind in that tire. so safe it's not even funny oh yeah there goes that tire now the other one see how bendy that one's getting what for the fucking ice not wanting to let go all right things are getting real safe now oh there she comes in mint oh yeah that's safe all the safety oh yeah that axle joint lower it down now and tow her home. I want you to go back out on that track and hit the pace car. Hit the pace car? Hit the pace car! What for? Because you hit every other god thing out there, I want you to be perfect. Well, how about that? A sound we don't have to fix. come out of there mint i'm kind of afraid to look at the old fucking, uh picker truck back there but i'm just not gonna look at it and that means i'm not gonna have to worry about it man the only tire that's kind of is this one but it just needs wind i think she's gonna be mint is the box side still good a couple of bullet holes or no unbullet holes no big deal but i think we're golden let her down are the tires pointing the same way Oh, kinda. Kinda want to have her at in this kind of level for putting wind in a tire. Oh, I gotta stop for a quick piss break here, but. Oh, 
Oh, jeez, buddy. Easy. Ah. Oh, that was a good piss. Now, believe it or not, if you want to believe me, go ahead. If you don't want to believe me, you can go and lick my ass. But this is the only pressure that still runs around here. Everyone else is fucked. They're all just fucking rallied. But the old fucking, uh, this thing has been referred to as the slave lake of pressures. You remember what happened to this thing? <laughs> Stop! Shut her down! She's still fucking mint. What do you think, Willard? Think she'll fire, bud? All right, we're just gonna give her a bunch of the good stuff in here and plug a hose onto there and... Oh, there's even a hose right here. Man. What, did that hose leak, probably? Oh, f yeah. But will it win the tire up? Oh, f yeah. All right, well, uh, let's see if there's any gas in it. This fucking thing is so hard on God's f gas. All right, well, there's two fingers in there. Mmm. So we're good to go. Oh, the gas is just fucking ancient. But, uh, we're gonna add a little bit of Cosby sauce into here, and, uh, boom. It's just so organized in here. But we'll just give her a little bit of the good stuff. And I'm gonna guess she's gonna fire first pull. If I remember which way the fucking thing goes for the... There it goes. Choke. Fuel on. Oh, second pull is pretty good. Break the red line. And put some wind in there. What is two rats in a wool sock? Why is everything just a little bit? Oh, it's taking wind though. This thing's a piece of. All right, now we got the one with the sick billet handle on it. Dope and trick and sick. Oh yeah, now it's winding up. Oh man, pressure gauge is f***ed though, but it still puts wind out. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good inner fender right there. Oh, the heater box is struggling. You don't need to worry about heater boxes. I wish this piece of sh had cruise control. See all that ice in the bead? That That's bead sealant. Is that tire gonna hold up? F***ing mint. All right, let's f***ing unhook her and get to work on that inner fender because uh, I don't know how many more times the computer can get hit with a tire, but I think we've damn near hit the quota. And if you guys are wondering how us oil burdeners can f***ing touch cold steel all day and not have uh, frozen fingers, well, one, we've lost f***ing feeling in all our fingers, and two, we got glycol and f***ing panther piss running through our veins. Now, now that inner fender it's gone like it's completely gone and there's the tire so this is our problem here so we got tfis hanging there all that stuff hanging in there so we're gonna have to do some quick riggings here with an inner fender and then uh because the last time i drove this thing it, it was awesome it was a good time but it just rallied into the fence the tire a hundred times and it f***ed it so we might have to put some driveway in here or something and then put a ratchet strap on it why does the thing even have an air box in it still and, uh, jump all right well we'll unbolt this and we'll see what's going on under there it doesn't need any of this it doesn't use any of this shit. all right well let's delicately install this uninstall this thing now as far as overflow goes i don't even know if it holds coolant or not so we don't need to worry about that. But I'm gonna cut it off here and loop her back to herself. What for not leaking anything else? Well, there's nothing really to loop back to. So we're just gonna let her dirty dangle. But uh, everything else, all this can go and make room for some wood, some Pinocchio pecker. See, this thing doesn't wanna come out because there's stupid bolts holding it in there. So I could go all the way over to that trike and grab a an impact or I can do it the smart way I'm 
Man, that thing's really holding on in there. All right, well, the whole cab might be coming off, so maybe it's not that smart of a way. Holy f is this thing f Oh, this thing is just fucking stout. Now we're talking. You don't need fucking safety glasses. I mean, look at that grinding disc. It looks fucking mint. All right, now we can see what we're doing in here. Not all that fucking shit out of the way. All right, so all of this stuff probably needs to be here to make the truck run. It's probably bad that it's been dirty dangling in the tire for the last forever. So what a feller's gonna do is just put something in here and make it not do that. That'll be safe. Go back, fuckers. She ain't spring yet. Those guys are not gonna freeze to their fucking porch when they get to where they're going. All right, well, on my way over to find a fucking piece of Pinocchio pecker, the kind, I ran into some of this tin that was used to put my shop up. Well, that looks just mint. And when I set the body back down on it, she really came together. I might add one ratchet strap, what for holding the whole body to the fucking frame. But once that's in there, that'll be good and stout. Fucking mint. I will just let that. That's all good, that stuff. It'll be. Oh, fucking factory. Oh, oh, factory position. She's fucking mint. You see, you're going to want to have all your fucking wiring held up by this ratchet strap that's just tied around the harness there. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That looks way better. I mean, the tire's not even going to go partying up in there anymore. Well, it might. But this thing's got deflection and stuff, so we're good. Man. Well, I don't know what you guys figure, but... Oh, that is f***ing solid. This is just fatal string tight. And, uh, you know, I put an extra f***ing bungee cord in there. And everything's mint. Like, it, that's as best as it's ever been since I've gotten it. That's about it. Oh, we've done an airbox delete. Actually, we didn't actually do an airbox delete. We're just going to put it in the back an airbox relocation it works better from behind the driver's seat so let's give her all the way i think uh just hooked this battery up here i hook this guy to this guy Well, she's getting to be nighttime now. Surprise, fucking surprise. But, uh, you know, as you can see, I'm about to pour bug juice into this fucking rod. So, somewhere, somebody somewhere once said that the wrong fluid is always better than no fluid. So, this stuff doesn't freeze up, and, uh, you know, doesn't matter if you get it everywhere. It's just blue bug juice, and it's still coolant. I wonder how many places it's been partying into the rad sport. Probably all of it. But we're just going to go ahead and get into there and have a quick look at it and see how many places it's. Yeah, I like these three-piece fan shrouds. They're handy as All right, so is it leaking or was I just pouring like a newfie? No, it's definitely leaking. Probably from everywhere. But I want a bag on this thing for a while. And then I want the rad to pile up. All right, so this glorious piece of shit is sitting in the in, uh, right front row center for a couple days been uh you know procrastination set in big time but all the we got to add now is a god rad and uh look what the we got here old sawed off frenchman bought by greta 
Just is she is the emission system burning good? Oh yeah, nice oh. and black. Oh, she's fucking burning good. But uh, we gotta do a rad on this fucking thing. Yeah, I gotta see if this thing will start. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Greta. <laughs> do you, we gotta put airline fucking ether injection on her. I know. <laughs> what a giant pile of fucking sh It's even warm out. Yeah, it, it's the engine's warm. That's the problem. The engine's the mill's hot. Nobody's home. What are you doing there? Just add the good stuff. Yeah, because you're known for gentleness. Look at how safe he is hanging out of the truck. Just real gentle. A little more. Oh, a tiny bit more. A little more. Perfect. This truck's a little beat up. I'm not sure if it's good for the road anymore. Oh, she's good. Oh, another cold start. My life is a cold start. Ow. <laughs> Pokey wires in there. Right, you see where this mint brake controller is? And we gotta install that. Uh, and then we just gotta give her a little little love right here. And we'll be able to get to the shifter. Mint. Alright, we just gotta uninstall some of this carpet. Uh, this fing carpet was getting bunged up in the fing riggings anyway. Oh, oh yeah. Oh look at the floor. Look at how fing pushed up it is underneath the Oh, I know. It's trash. <laughs> no floor left. Like, the fucking carpet was the floor. Oh, Jesus. Like, that's how you know she's mint. All right, I'm going to have to good put this thing the whole time. There's no way my cripple can get in there and beat it. <laughs> All right, let's get my nice safety glasses that I've been taking care of. Oh, yeah. These are still mint. Don't cut the fucking ketchup applicator now. <laughs> All right, well, we got a little aggressive with the cutting, but I mean, all of that was in the way of the fuel pedal. Like, the body was already pretty f so now I'm able to get my rubber foot in there and really floor it. And now I just gotta pop that off and hook something onto there, and we're good to go. Now we can see what gear she has. Oh yeah, we were missing a few settings there. <laughs> I was trying not to run you over it's there. It's not even that sketchy. Yeah, this doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thunk? Yeah, I, I didn't even think of it. It's a... Oh, yeah, that drive shaft, if that's spinning, that's not going to be dangerous at all. <laughs> well, it should be in two-wheel drive. Try not putting it in 4x4. If I put it in 4x4, I'll put it in other leg delete mode. Ready? All right. I'm trying to find reverse. That's, that's forward. forward. Go. That's forward. forward. More forward. More forward? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Is that all happening? I think the forward? valve body might be. We've got lots and lots of forward gears, okay? Give it out. That's some kind of forward. <laughs> They're all forward. Oh, that one's a nice torquey forward, though. They're all forward gears. All right, well, she's, she can't do no mercy reverses <laughs> when the reverse has been deleted. <laughs> Hey, saw it off. You want to stick my nozzle in the hole? Oh, yeah. Do yeah. this. Oh, yeah. Thumb it in. Oh. Is it going in? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got to do a quick box side relocation. Go down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Hold on. <laughs> uh, just go up now. 
keep doing that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, brand new box art for sale on counterfeit Craigslist. All right. Oh, there you go, booster cable. Yeah, this is a good ignition system. Fucking burns the truck down. <laughs> so that's what we go power here, right? And... All right, let's see. Sakes. Dump cables. Just rusty and sh. This is safe. Ready? Yep. Mint. All right, we'll run those into the cab. There we go. Oh, let's fucking roll.
find a more solid runner than that. Just fucking mint. Safety first. There might not be a bubble in the cooling system, but there's definitely lots of heat. This might be the problem. Oh, she's getting frisky. All right, well, we're sitting here in the old fucking hunting shack, having to swig off the old piss jug, because I told you fuckers. No PC light until the fucking vidges get made. Well, I told that to my Patreon. Everybody else can get fucked. But, uh, so this is the old fucking neutral drop. This is the category we're entering in here. We're entering in junkyard digs and neutral drop. I'm going to judge a certain category for the divorce garage international intercontinental worldwide car show ladies and gentlemen is a certain gold. category named after look at this we got here the eighth wonder of the world ladies and gentlemen the ayatollah of the rocking horse the inventor of the rocking horse the main offense right here stunt man and he's got his own category, the Stuntman Burnout Award. Tell him, shut up! What's going on is, it's a very good event, okay, to have a category that's the Burnout category. So this year at the Boss Garage smartened up, and they chose me to be the judge. The winner of that category is going to get the Stuntman Award, okay? And they chose me only because... I am always second to absolutely no one in the entire world when it comes to donuts, rocking horses, burnouts, and car cars. All right there, stuntman. We're going to make you second, bud. I'm fucking sorry. You and your fucking uh, Tom Cruise glasses ain't got shit on fucking G-Dale. Our trucks might not have reverse, but we have all the fucking goes to give her. Isn't that right, Sawed Off? You bet. You, gotta, you better bring your best to the table there. Because we're about to f*** your shit up. The No Mercy Reverses is pretty hard when your Bruce Jenner's get up and go has got up and left. But I think we can f***ing agree that the old F1 has paid her f***ing dues. I don't know how, it's got seven years of hard f***ing trash in it. I've reversed and drive the f*** out of that thing. I think the f***ing valve body, well, what do you think, Sada? Valve body's f***. Yeah, it come, come apart. It might be a little fiddle f***. But it's still got like seven f***ing forward gears and using them all. And you know, a 351, it just won't f stall so we're gonna go out there and we're gonna uh, get rid of some fucking tires meow because we got we got the donuts we got donuts right we tried no mercy reverses with uh, the bruce jenner it just had all forward gears and then we got to do uh now we gotta do a burnout so as you know me and sod uh frenchman here we're uh we're kind of lube tube partners so and not and not the kind of partners you're thinking I'm not so... like partner partners not like gay partners not, not the 2021 kind of partners but uh no, make sure you go over and check dipshot dips and dunlops out. Meanwhile, my derelict fat ass doesn't make any videos. This fucking does, so he builds shit up, does burnouts, and uh, he's actually handy with his hands when it doesn't require uh, just complete backyard fuckery. He welds blowers onto shit and fiddle stuff. So make sure you go check out Sawed Off Frenchman, aka dips and dunlops. And we're not just partners; we're life partners. Not even that gay. All right. Well, we don't live in that big fancy pants city in New York City. We gotta set our burnout pad up, but I actually went and it was this minty motherfucker. I can't mention any names, but he hooked my fat ass up with six fucking burnout pads. And and you may be wondering what the f the burnout pad? Well, in Alberta, the patch would come to a grinding fucking halt if it wasn't for this fucking thing called a swamp mat. And a swamp mat is a shitload of fucking Pinocchio pecker, all nailed together. It gives you a real nice fucking bridge mat to do a burnout on. So we're gonna go fiddle fuck that thing and. uh get her going so you fancy pants bagel eating c in old new york well you guys are so good with your no mercy reverses and your neutral drops but saw it off where in the f is their ghost rider burnouts yeah i've never seen them step aside and let the vehicle do its own thing amateurs i tell you you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let it slide this time because you know 
you're you guys are amateurs and that's fine amateurs are fine we'll just, we'll just teach you guys how to do it all right so we got the old burnout pad dialed in once it gets through this canadian water we'll be good to go but what sawed off frenchman and i are going to do is we're going to fashion up a real nice fast idle stick so i'm able to do some nice footage from around well he's giving her all the way in the old greta and, and i'm going to do some uh some sideward shots while the ghost rider burnout's taking place all right so since me and sawed off well, you know what we're going to take pity on those fancy big city people and uh Instead of doing a full Ghost Rider burnout, I'm going to leave a little piece of me in the truck. And we're going to use one of my old rubber feet and make the mintiest fast idle stick you ever seen. All right, a little duct tape on her. You can tell how nice I am to my legs. You know, there's a little bit of Saskatchewan chrome holding the things together. Yeah, uh, you might have, you might want to go like here. So it presses up so against it? So it's nice and tight. All right, we'll try. Otherwise it might fall we'll, off. We'll, we'll compromise, okay? All right, now we'll just take this guy and we'll just can place her in oh yeah nice fit <laughs> man and fast idle and stick all right oh we got to tighten the steering up <laughs> man all righty so we got old chef greta here we got the nice uh wood stoppers going on burnout pad f1 ready to rock and roll and let's get this done. The census is probably going to be the F1 last day alive. Then what better way to go out than good old hot sauce? Yeah. All right, she should start. She's a little hot. We might have to wait for her to cool down a minute. All right, so I don't know if you heard that or not, but the F1 Bruce Jenner. With the first and second, and the first and second, and the first and second. But we're gonna fix that with hot sauce. See, hot sauce is guaranteed to make sure that it'll stay in whatever top gear it can get to. Isn't that right, Sawed Off? That is correct. Alrighty. Alright, so what we rigged up here 
is just a real nice catch. It's barely even stuck in the fan, which is a real nice catch for hot sauce. Now, those guys over at Neutral Drop, they are very good at killing vehicles with BBs and paint and flex seal and all that mint shit. But you guys got to get out of the elementary level and get into some hot sauce. All right, F1 shitty. You've done your fucking, you paid your dues. Now it's time to fucking die. I've tried killing this thing a hundred times though. That'll do F1 sh that'll 
can do. I've never seen exhaust system make the fucking radius arm cherry red before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you might want to put some of this out. All right, I'll grab the fucking fire suppressing equipment here. All right, we need your help back here. What for? Uh, the box sides on fire. Well, oh, that, no, I think it back. We still got a little bit of flame going on. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit of engine fire. Oh, the spark! Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thought, eh? Might have got a little warm, Peg. I'm not sure. That tire definitely burnt good. It's still on fire. <laughs> yeah, but it's just a gravel fire. <sighs> All right. Well, cameraman, stunt man. Why don't you guys just man up, stop being manginas, and just hand that stuntman trophy, trophy over to us. Until you've uh, turned radius arms into red hot glowing metal. You know, this, this old Ferd has been a, a part of my G-Dale land for seven f***ing years. And we killed her just to, just to learn you guys how to do a proper burnout. Isn't that right, Sawed Off? That is correct. You see, this is what a proper burnout is supposed to look like. That was a majestic, brand used bias ply. Would it take us 20 minutes to put the fire out? <laughs> exactly. Unless it takes you 20 minutes to put the fire out, your burnout was bullshit. So, I highly suggest you start manning up and doing better burnouts. Oh, Jesus Christ, shot off. And just in case you're wondering if she's dead or not, she does sound a little locked up. These jumper cables are fucking dog shit. We got about... We got about a quarter inch of movement out of the balancer. But when we lifted the truck up to drag it over here, the oil in the engine and the, and the, the rotating assembly was so goddamn hot that when the oil sloshed into it, it let a bunch of fucking smoke out from inside the motor. So we're going to go ahead and wait 15 or 20 and see if she'll go again. Don't worry, I'll let all my Patreons know if it runs again. All right, Junior. Did you watch Daddy's burnout? Yeah. Was it mint? Yeah. Who's the better, stuntman or Daddy's? They can't see you pointing at me. Who's who's mintier, stuntman? 